What's up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. I want to shout out to my homie, Kofi, from Kofi's Universe. Y'all make sure to subscribe to his channel and support everything he got going on because he be dropping that knowledge. Yeah! YouTube, salute. Conway wasted no time getting back to recording even after having surgery. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video, hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Conway the Machine is once again proving that his grind never stops. The rapper wasted no time getting back into the studio to record new material even after getting leg surgery. A new video posted to the rapper's Instagram shows him sitting in the studio in a wheelchair recording vocals for a song. It also features pictures of Conway immediately after his surgery and the cover of his most recent album, text over the post explaining what's going on. Today I watched this man get wheeled out of the hospital after another surgery, carry into his house and immediately start recording. Anesthesia hadn't even fully wore off yet. There's a reason they call him the machine, it reads. Power the machine also filled in the caption, it's all right, cause when my leg get back here, I'm still going to be the king. Conway's prolific output is no joke. The rapper has already dropped two new albums this year. Yeah, check out the two albums he dropped. Um, Pain provided, what is it? Let me see what it's called again. I know he got the um, Won't He Do It album. Let me see. The album just came out, Won't He Do It? And then he got Pain provided profit. I'm sorry, that's a... A collab album with Jake Skis, who signed to um, Drum Work Music. So, um, I'm proud of Conway. Because like I said, at the end of the day, you know, people, they'll sit here um, and say all kind of other stuff. And, oh, man, you know, my leg hurt. I don't feel like doing nothing today. My back hurt. I don't feel like doing nothing today. To me, I feel like, it's up to you. It's you versus you. Nothing should stop you out here when it comes to your path. If you want to make something happen, you know, a lot of people are complacent. A lot of people are just going with the flow. They just in the in the in the time of just being there. As far as what I mean, being there is like you can do what's best for you, and you know what's best for you. If somebody wants to get up and go to work right, and they know they got to be there early. And they want to still work out. Either you can work out after work or before work. You prioritize everything that's important to you. If you want to go, if you want to go back to school, or you in school, and you know you got to study, but you got to be at somewhere else to take care of some business or work, you're gonna prioritize the things that's on your path. If you know you're trying to open up a business, get something going, maybe like a YouTube channel, be an Instagram um, creator. You know, somebody that's actually reaching out to the people and you know it's going to take time because you can't just sit around and just do that all day, especially when you're trying to bring income in before you get this passive income going. There are sacrifices that have to be made. Highway, the machine, he's made a sacrifice saying, I'm not going to let nothing stop me. He knows how he's eating now. He's able to take care of his children. And his, I believe he's married now, right? Well, I'm going to say his wife. Yeah his wife and the things around him. He's came a long way from the ground up. Like nobody gave him a, a hand out and felt sorry for him when he was on the couch sitting watching TV. No, he was out there grinding, putting out mixtapes, traveling to ATL, doing what he had to do. That's how he was able to sign with Shady, um, Shady Records, get the Rock Nation management deal. He did put the work in. And they saw, you know, his worth ethic. Like, okay, this guy's worth it. You know, so that's what I'm saying. You have to actually do the work. I know Marvin, Marvin Marvelous Hagler, one of my favorite fighters of all time, he used to say, you get complacent sleeping in silk sheets. And that's true. Because once you make a certain type of money, and you have that lifestyle. Some people don't want to get up and train no more. That's why it's an anomaly to have the Kobe Bryants, the Michael Jordans, the... um. The Champ Baileys in football, who else we had out there? The Deion Sanders, you know, in boxing, you had Floyd Mayweather, you had Andre Wars, Terrence Crawfords, John Joe's in MMA. You know, some people, no matter how much money they was getting or the fame or the success, 
they still get up and just say, I'm going to grind to this because I know at the end of the day, I got to train like I don't have it. And I know somebody is trying to come take my title. Post your comments below. Hope smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel, I have Patreon. Patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.